YouTube. I'm here to do a, another review on one of my favorite things, which is cream eyeshadow. I love cream eyeshadow. I became addicted when I first got my Benefit Creases Cream Eyeshadow, which was like last summer. And I wore it nonstop, like the whole entire summer. Um, you can just put it on. It won't crease. You can just put it all the way up to your brow bone if, if you want. Um, and it wears really well. You don't have to touch it up as much. It's pretty much self-explanatory. So I have a pretty big collection of cream eyeshadows. <laughs> um, I have all different types. I have High End, which is a MAC. And then I have Drugstore, like L'Oreal Infallible, which don't really count as maybe cream. but. And then I also have Maybelline. So I'm just going to get started in what I think about all these brands. So Benefit is probably one of my favorites. But these are $19, I believe. And I have another, my favorite video mentions this, but this is the color Flatter Me. And that's what it looks like. It's like a taupey shade, but it has a purple undertone. It has some shimmer and it's very pretty. Um, <laughs> no other way to explain it really, so it's, you know, nice. Then I got, when MAC had a collection came come out, not, not too long ago, but um, it was a paint pot collection and I, since I love cream eyeshadows, so I was like, I have to get one. So I got it in idyllic. I don't know if you can see. I don't know how to say that. But it's like maroonish, kind of browny shade. Um, it's very pretty. I like to use this color. It's very dark. Um, I like to use this in my crease. Or if I'm going to do like a smoky brown eye, I use this as the base. So this is Flatter Me and this is Idyllic. I'm not sure you say that. Um, yeah, it's definitely got a maroonish, kind of purpley. So these, I think, retail for around $18, so slightly less in benefit. But the ounces on this is 5 grams, and the benefit is um, 0.16 ounces, and this is 0.17 ounces. So you get slightly more actually I'm not sure which one is more oh well <laughs> but there this is 0.16 this is 0.17 so there you go <laughs> and then for a drugstore I have Maybelline color tattoo when these came out I was so excited because I love cream eyeshadows and they didn't really have any good cream eyeshadows in the drugstore so when these came out I picked up a couple I still plan on picking up more I just haven't gone around to it. I also have Tefas Taupe, but I haven't opened it yet. So I will do a review on that color when I get it, when I open it. And this is Audacious Asphalt. And this is a gray, smoky shade. It has, I want to say, a blue undertone. When I wear this, I love to wear this Maybelline eyeshadow over it, and it's like a blue shade, and it just makes my eyes pop, and it really brings out the blue hue in it, I'd say. It's so shimmery, like, can you see this sparkle? Um, it's really, really pretty. I use it if I want to have, like, a smoky eye, but not, like, black. I use the gray, because I don't like black smoky eyes, really. I feel like it's kind of too much, but maybe for a special occasion. I'm not sure. Then I got what I'm wearing actually right now. Uh, Bold Gold by Maybelline. And this is a really, really sparkly, shimmery gold shade. There it is. Right here. Um... It's really pretty, and I wore this by itself with some dark brown eyeshadow in the crease to give it a little bit of a definition. 
It's a little bit. The one thing I do think about these eyeshadows is you definitely have to like um, blend them because they're kind of chunky, I want to say. Like the Benefit eyeshadow is like seamlessly goes on. The MAC, a little bit different texture, um, but then the Maybelline ones are more glittery for sure, and then they don't have the same like texture, but they're still really good, don't get me wrong, I love them. Um, then for, I got really colorful, I use this as an eyeliner most of the time, this is Tenacious Teal. Um, I want to try out a bright color because for spring and summer I figured why not and I mean they're only like six bucks and I get them for so cheap like I use a coupon and then there's usually extra bucks I get them at CVS so and then I use the extra bucks from previous purchases so in the end I spent like two bucks <laughs> um, so that's the blue and I will swatch it here it's very, it's like electric. It's definitely bright. Um, that's really pretty. And actually, I'm not sure if this is good or not, but I put it in my water line, like, this way it's called water line, right? And I put it, like, in here, and it lasted, like, the whole day. But then getting it off was kind of hard, so I had to use a Q-tip and just kind of rub it. But it was really pretty. Um, and then, um, just to kind of mix it up, I have a Mary Kay cream eyeshadow and this is in Beach Blonde. I wasn't too crazy about this. I think that the texture compared to the rest of them is not as good. It's like a shimmery kind of champagne. Um, it didn't wear as well I don't think as the rest of them did. I'll put this on my other hand. You can't really see it that well but there it is. And then, um, just to compare, I have my two L'Oreal Infallible. I was super duper excited when these came out as well because everybody was saying how they were Giorgio Armani dupes. And since I've never really bought a Giorgio Armani because I don't think I should spend like 30 to $40 on one product <laughs> necessarily, um, I tried these and they were pretty nice. Although, I don't wear the purple very often. I do wear the Ice Lost iced latte a ton. Um, the purple, it has pink undertones, so it's kind of hard to wear, but I do like to wear it sometimes I wear as an eyeliner, or just in the crease to deepen up the eye look. Like, I'll use pink eyeshadow, and then I'll use this in the crease. And here it is. It's definitely pigmented. Um, you have to be very careful when using this because um, the darker shades don't seem to blend as well. So that's what it looks like and I will swatch it here. So you can see the pink kind of there. And then the Ice Latte, which I mentioned in my favorites video as well. I love this shade. It's gorgeous. Um, I've used a good amount. That's what it looks like in the container. And they have like a really buttery consistency. They're very smooth. Um, I like that a lot about them. So I will put that next to the Mary Kay to, to see the difference. This is a little bit more lighter. This is more kind of darker. Um, so, overall, I'd say if you want to invest in a cream eyeshadow, I would definitely check out Benefit. They have these at Sephora, and they also have it at Benefit Counters and online. So, check these out. Um, they're really nice. But, if you don't want to spend the money, um, I would definitely recommend the Maybelline Color Tattoo eyeshadows. And depending really on what you want, you can go for color, you can go for smoky eye, or you can go for like glitter. Which I'd say the glitter one is kind of the bold gold. It's definitely really glitter. Um, and 
if you want a matte one, I'd go for the toughest taupe. Um, so thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe and leave a comment, like, you know, any feedback is welcome, as long as it's nice. Um, thank you for watching. Bye!